Hey everybody on the YouTube channel, I don't exactly know who you are or uh, exactly who I'm addressing this to specifically, but I, I that's, I'm only saying that because I imagine everybody who saw the pandemic tapes uh, were linked to them via a Discord link, and so I'm imagining that anybody else here, um, yeah, that's who I'm speaking to, and I don't, I don't, I don't think there is anybody else here. But uh, you, if this fits you, that's that's you. I'm speaking to you. Uh, so the pandemic tapes, uh, in my eyes, were a success. It made me become in incredibly more comfortable uh, just sitting and speaking uh, in front of the mic. It also got me more comfortable uh, getting uh, other people together and uh, recording a, an, an episode of a podcast with them and hosting that, driving that, keeping that forward and moving. I'm really happy about that and the way it went. Uh, and the, the Gulag is the name of the official podcast. The first uh, episode, the inaugural episode, comes out on Tuesday. Uh, that is actually um, you know, a couple days from now, Tuesday. Uh, and actually, now that I'm s looking and recording this, it's tomorrow. <laughs> uh, it, it's actually being fully released tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, the, the full pandemic tapes are already released. Uh, you can find that. You can find the link in the description below uh, to the RSS feed. And you can find links to the Spotify and the Apple uh, podcast uh, link uh, from the, the website. So there's just, there'll be the website in the description. You can find that uh, and find all your links through there. Uh, but... Yeah, so that's uh, the, the, the it's a thing now. Uh, the first episode is is already recorded. It's going. It's already uploaded. It's published. It's waiting to go live uh, tomorrow, and I'm uh, happy that I finally have the ball rolling. This is now something. You know, uh, 10 years ago, me and Jeff started a podcast, and it was very short lived. Uh, but it was one of my favorite things ever and so it does bring me great joy uh to actually now have it up and running to have a website and rss feed it's in you know spotify and apple uh podcasts and so I, i'm happy that that's uh, off the ground i'm happy that i've spent time doing that uh even you know a bit of an investment but uh, so far uh, all worth it and I'm excited to see uh, to see it grow. I'm excited to see what I can do to, to make improvements. Uh, I definitely learned a lot throughout the process. I uh, definitely learned about... Uh, uh, the biggest things that I've learned were about podcasting with others. And that I need to run a little bit more of a tighter ship when it comes to... Uh, I, like, I... I, I like I, I think I need to be better about timing, being better about being more available for others, being more flexible for others. But the the problems that I just have are just uh, like I can't record when there's going to be people on the other side of of my door. Uh, that's just kind of not gonna not gonna fly. And so I, I'm trying to work around that as best as I can. Um, but there's only so much you can do. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm just learning about. Uh, you know, the, the, the things that you don't think about, the things that you would think about when starting a podcast, and it makes me excited. Uh, the other thing is that uh, it, it seems to have come at the uh the time cost of streaming. Uh, I've only streamed once this week so far, and uh, that's a little bit of a of a disappointment. But at the same time, it, it does at, at this current juncture that i'm in with uh my stream it does seem to be uh not um, i want to compare it to a an experience i had with cycling as a whole uh i found myself training uh a lot for cycling trying to be as fast as i could at any given point for racing and for the for the racing season uh, I didn't have any money to actually race. And so if I was going to be entering a race, uh, I generally wouldn't know until two weeks before. So I would just want to just always be in as, as fast as shape as I could um, in preparation for, for, uh, for jumping into the race. I, I would watch the schedule I, I always knew what races were when i always knew oh yeah big one coming up at this time or ooh, there's a couple there's three small weight three sm three small races say that three times fast 
uh happening uh this weekend one in this state one in this state and one in this state like a tri-border or like two of them in this state so and they're all really small races and they're twenty dollars each or something like that and so i would be like so i could probably do one of those or something or something or i can go you know across the state and over the line and do you know a practice race uh there for even cheaper and and, and so I, I was just kind of only being in shape for those events my whole the whole thing about me riding bikes was just to enter these races to be fast and I would just found myself training putting in a lot of hard work dedicating time just outside of being on the bike itself uh dedicating money dedicating everything that you could think of um, sort of say to, to, to being fast on a bike. And I never had the opportunity to really display it in a way that I wanted to. And, uh, because of that, it just really burnt me out because the only way to stay on top of, to the only way to be fast on, on your bike is to constantly be working at that. It, it's not, it's like, it's like any other physical, you know, workout. You can't just bench a lot. You can't just do, you can't do a 6,000 pound bench without or 600 pound but 6,000 pound was a little way too hyperbolic 600 pound is way more reasonably hyperbolic uh you can't do a 600 pound bench without benching benching routine benching practice without being a bencher uh, clearly a bench press uh and, and so uh just constantly training to putting in uh to the to this non-existent event and i i've been feeling like I've been treating my stream and putting in, not necessarily that streaming itself is, is, is a drag, that's not the point that I'm making, but that I was putting, that I was in my head thinking about my stream like it was some sort of thing in the same way I, I was thinking about my relationship with my bike and my cycling career and races and training. Uh, to this point where I, I have to be good, I have to do this, I have to play the right game i have to do the right thing and so uh i i can't tell if this break that i've created has been natural in that it's been my body's way my mind's way of telling uh, or expressing rather that i i should you know take a step back from my approach from what i've been doing from street from you know just taking a just taking a regular break if you, if you, you need to take a break from everything every once in a while um, but so, yeah, there, it's on, you know, a little bit unclear still, I think there's still some sorting out to, to, to do through that, but I think, um, you know, trying to just get some streams up, uh, as much as possible in the near, uh, future, uh, would be good. And, um, uh, another thing is I think I'm going to have a setting change soon and, uh, that, that kind of bothers me, you know, that kind of, kind of bothers me and it makes me nervous. I don't know why. But that, like, to have a set, uh, like, my de my desk is in a new place right now, and to show that off on stream, or, like, not, like, show that off, but, to, like, to just, like, have it displayed to be me displayed in a new place, you know, I, it makes me feel nervous and vulnerable. Uh, <laughs> and then there's also the uh, art creation uh, side of things, the podcast, uh, the streaming, and then, of course, the uh, art creation side, the photography side of things. Uh, and that's, the ball has been, uh, getting back rolling on that. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to not mention this, uh, side of things because this is, uh, mentioned in the podcast. I kind of talk about this topic specifically as a whole. So I'm going to keep that one now that I'm uh, thinking about it, keep it to myself. Uh, I guess it's a bit of a teaser, uh, for tomorrow's, uh, episode. If you want to go and subscribe to those feeds, uh, make sure you have them written down somewhere, whatever it is that you do to remember things on the internet. That's what I have. I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you're making it, uh, this far for any, you know, just expressing, you know, any kind of interest in, in the journey that is, uh, the online content creation that I've been doing for a while now. And so thank you guys. I appreciate it. And, uh, check out that, uh, description links, all sorts of them. Go find some great places.